So hello everyone, this is Itzali Karwani and today we are going to be talking about quality function deployment with an example of house of quality. Let's start with the definition of QFT that is quality function deployment is a structured approach for defining customer needs or requirements and translating them into specific plans to produce products to meet those needs. So basically we have to know the needs and we have to translate them into specific plans so that we can know how to satisfy those needs. The basic function that QFT does is it helps in capturing the voice of the customers. So why is it important to know the voice of the customers? So there are three main functions. Is understand customer better than they understand themselves. Secondly, to know in advance that how will your customer judge the value of product and design the product accordingly. Third, translate customer needs into development goals. Now all of these will then help you achieving uh, in help in delivering the customer satisfaction that is the ultimate goal of QFT. So does your company really need QFT? Uh, to define this uh, let's start with uh, let's talk about this diagram I have here. So on the y axis we have project resources and the x axis we have time. I have made a graph and Q, in the start of the product we can see there are very little resources and as the time passes by the resources increase and at the launch date we can see that there are many conflicts that are arising that can be due to these reasons panic or redesign, problem solving, costly mid course corrections, poor communication. This is reactive development process that you have in taking necessary measures to do all this in the start. So what QFD does is that it uh, it helps you in taking all these measures in the start so basically it is that uh, you're going to pay later or you're going to pay in the start so better planning intense customer focus improved documentation all of this will help you uh, reduce the focus on resources as you come closer to the launch date so uh, primarily QFD helps in defining the product strategically prioritize efforts before the launch date and communication within the teams. The steps of product development. So there are three major categories, customer requirements, product design, and process design. You can pause the video and see because it, it is going to be a really short video, so I'm not going to spend much time on it. So determine document, customer requirement, product requirements, all of this will then lead to product design and ultimately pro process design, which will then which after completion will be the launch or your continuous improvement, whatever you want to do. So let's talk about house of quality. House of quality is a diagram resembling a house used to define the relationship between customer desires and the company product capabilities. So it is kind of a link between these two. Uh, and also it is a part of the quality function deployment and it utilizes a planning matrix to relate what the customer wants to how a company is going to meet those wants. So this is the overview of the house of quality. Here we have the customer requirements. What customer wants, the design characteristics, how we are going to deliver what he wants, priority. Uh, it is just that how much weight customer assigns to each of the requirements. The technical correlation here, it serves as the purpose that we have different design characteristics and it is the correlation between them. The relationship between customer requirements and design characteristics is the relationship between these two boxes which then add up and give the final result of how important each characteristic is and here we are going to do the competitive analysis so moving on i have already made this layout and i have made this according to a mobile company let's call it huawei and we are going to make the house of quality according to it the customer characteristics are camera bluetooth wi-fi video call cpu operating system navigation with respect to features are uh, these three in terms of the specification camera bluetooth and video call from the engineering or design characteristics point of view we have backup time weightage of cell phone random access memory uh, body material quality and talk time here we are going to perform the correlation between these characteristics we are going to write here that which of them company wants to maximize and which of them company wants to minimize. Here we are going to write the priorities of how a customer 
weights, camera, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. This is all going to be relative. But remember, you have to first come up with a range. It can be anything. I'm going to use one to five. Five being excellent and one being poor. So I've already written down the numbers. These are four, three, five, four, five, two. These are the camera. With respect to camera, customer gave weighted to four. Bluetooth Wi-Fi three and all of this. So now we're going to fill this portion of the house. That is the roof. And I have denoted the maximization with this upward triangle and the minimization with this downward triangle. So the, this means that the company wants to maximize the backup time, minimize the weight of the cell phone, maximize the random access memory, uh, maximize body material quality, and maximize the talk time. This I have performed a correlation between backup time and random access memory this is just an hypothetical example so most of this might not make sense but remember this this is just to give an idea so let me bring up the keys so uh, double positive the double plus sign means that that there is a strong positive relation between the backup time and the random access memory that means that the double positive sign will denote the strong positive correlation plus sign will denote the positive relationship minus will denote the negative relationship and double negative will denote the strong negative relationship so the talk time and the body body material quality has a very strong negative correlation so now moving on so now we are going to find the relationship between these customer characteristics and the engineering characteristics so i have used the standard that is this sign will represent a strong which will has a score of 9 the circle will uh, denote the medium and has a score of 3 <coughs> triangle will show that there is a weak relationship and has a score of 1 and if there is nothing that means 0 so the camera and the backup time has a medium relationship that means that it has a score of 3 similarly bluetooth and wi-fi and backup has a score, has a score of 3 Camera and body material quality has a score of 9 and camera and random access memory has a score of 1. So I have performed all of this in the similar fashion and here I am going to add up all the values. How we are going to do this is for example take, the, uh, take this we are going to multiply 4 by 3 then add the product of 3 and 3 and then again I will add the product of 5 and 3 that to totals to 36 I have done all this similarly that 2 into 1 is 2 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 plus 5 into 1 5 and 4 9 36 I adding all of them will give to 45 now this will total to 169 so I have found the percentages of this this will help determining what is the most important factor and according to this the talk time is most important so this is just an example I have already told you that the real situation might be different but this is just to give an idea so lastly we are going to perform the comparative assessment that how are we with respect to our customer with respect to our competitors and where do we stand in the market so let me bring up the keys uh, for example there are only two competitors Samsung and Huawei and the third one is our own brand so I have denoted Samsung with A, iPhone with B, and our own brand with X. So I have assigned the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is basically a scale. 1 means poor and 5 means excellent. So with respect to camera, Samsung is at 4, iPhone is at 5, and we are standing at 3. With respect to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, we are at 4. I, uh, Samsung is at 3 and iPhone is at 2 video call and 3G uh, iPhone is at 5 Samsung is at 4 and we are at 3 I have done all this in the similar way and the reason for doing this is to find a trend we all know that this column if we have all our characteristics if, if there, for example if they are all X we would know that we are the best in the market but this is not true in most of the cases and we have to see that how much we are deviating from it so we have we have to make a trend we have to make a line just by joining all of these x uh, let me bring up a clearer picture so this was quality function deployment i hope you have understood 
and that's all thank you